Okay, let's show you how to access the O drive, the network drive. So to do this, you go down to the Start button, click on that, and then go to Computer, and then click on this, it'll say O drive. Yours will look slightly different than mine because I'm logged in as an instructor and you'll be logged in as a student. So click on this O drive, and this step you'll skip. I have to click on Class Data, but you'll already be here. You'll see this list of folders. Then find the CS114 folder, double-click that, and then w you'll want some files out of here. So you're going to want to get this class guide, and if you're on a Mac, you can take the PDF version. Here's a, a doc version. Uh, and then there's also some videos on here that you might want to watch. And then the document that you're looking at, the, uh, the first week document, that'll be on here as well. So you can open that up and click on the links. So you can open up the videos, and this is uh, kind of the getting started videos. It'll tell you how to get started building web pages. And then there's also the other thing you'll want to get, the student data files. So for your lab manual, there's a bunch of web pages already built. And the nice thing about this is that uh, you don't have to type all this stuff in. If you grab one of these and open up in your notepad editor, it'll have all this stuff typed in for you. You'll be able to then do the lab manual, the exercises, without having to type this in every time. You'll probably have to do make some few changes and do some things. But again, that's all these files that you'll need to accomplish the things in the lab manual are in the student data files. So copy everything. You can copy this whole folder if you want to your thumb drive. You know, you take what you want. But you'll definitely need the student data files and definitely you're gonna have to read these class guides, either the doc version or the PDF version.